咁容易啲。所以誒 ，marriage level my needs between a community and another one. And I bother so many things, especially in in Italy. In Italy, so they are Italian. Find me. And but let's start to talk about the station because we are here for that reason. Firefox is famous for extension. Yeah, I think in my memory, the most important feature for Firefox was disruptive. Was the tab browsing, for example. So, as we can see, also as I said, the tools. Firefox is famous for extensions because extension itself, feature of as extension, sometimes became feature of Firefox itself. So, this is one of the example. One of the example why an ext extension platform ecosystem, as we prefer, are important in Firefox. But. I said that because it's true. Firefox is the most consistent web browser in the market now, because uh, there is not only like the other competitor you can add only a button in that bar or improve the URL bar, because you can change many other things like the developer manager behavior, teams, as I said, other features. So actually, it's the most consistent web browser ever, which is true. Not because I am only a Mozilla, but it's true. And. Uh, Another examples are the why addons are important also from its Mozilla itself. I said we have the go faster system addons. As I said, the dev tools maybe will be an addons for Firefox itself. Mozilla try to implement features as addons because uh, that way we can try it. We disable, we can move it, we can uh, they can ship faster feature also as core features as develop tools because not only. All the people is a developer, so maybe I don't need it. So the results of this pilot for me is one of the best new project because uh, it's the first time that I see that you can try new feature and and you can leave a feedback because usually when you use a web service, a web app, or something else, you can have you want to join the beta program, okay, but you cannot have a survey sometimes. I cannot say what's going on, what I liked, what etc. So these are two examples, but Mozilla, my extension, are important in Firefox, and there are also a few data that maybe are interesting because a developer, I want to see that my extension is used. Because I'm a volunteer, I use me full time. So we have few data from the Emo itself. The Emo is the add-ons that Mozilla the top website. We have the 40% of Firefox use add-ons. There are millions of users of Firefox, so there are millions of people that can be used by add-ons. There are many add-ons now, but it's a number that after web extension is growing every month. There are many extension developers, but there is also many monthly users on Emo. There are a Customer of our extension, but this was before. This was a problem. I am uh, feeling this role because there was a problem that the new technology or the, or the uh, technology of Firefox itself are old respect to the new technology of today. XML today is not used anymore. Use JSON. Okay, but yeah, the Firefox interface itself is done with Xu. Is uh, XML to do the interface, and we want to do an extension with that framework. We need to act with that kind of things. We use CSS, etc. Next, uh, we cannot use the normal JavaScript standard we already use. So it's about the local storage inside in Firefox have a different name, different property, blah 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 blah. So there is another framework. So we are web developer. I say JavaScript developer. We need to learn new stuff. And when you start, it can be cool, but sometimes it can be very boring, and sometimes it can be very difficult. And I tried uh, so many times to develop an extension with these kind of things. No, no, it doesn't work. But actually, with web extension, we need, we have a completely change of the actual status of the ecosystem because for web developers like us, with only HTML, CSS, and JavaScript standard, I say standard, we can do an extension. Ah, and uh, there was uh, animated word, okay. Uh, as I said, standard technology. We love standards. There are many tracks for them for standards. And next, we have another particular things because we say it's a new technology with no documentation. Now something will start to flow. Oh my God! Now it's start to flow. Ah, I cannot do anything. But there is many things about start to flow because uh, web extension is the Chrome API, so we can find with. Chrome, K, what? 
already question, already with code. I started that way. So we have the parity with Chrome extension API. But they said there is also the documentation from Chrome for many things. So we find the documentation at, on Chrome, but that's on the end because we want our, also our documentation. But there is also another thing that I said with Nightly, we have electrolysis. With the other old framework, we need to update our code to support electrolysis. Boring. With the web extension, we don't care because it's already supported. We next have support for Firefox for Android. Firefox Android, as I know, is the only web, mobile web browser that supports extensions. So we can have Adblock on our Firefox for Android. And all works out on Firefox for Android. So only the desktop device is not enough, we can also have mobile. We have also sandboxing that is improving. But the cool part for us, because there was a time when we had to develop an extension for Chrome, an extension for Firefox, as a time with the Windows, with the DLL, and many other bad things, now we can have one code that rules everywhere. Room on Chrome, Opera, is also working on Edge, and that's working on Kitty WebKit. I already did many lists, they are thinking about it. So for us, developer, we can have not only Firefox or Chrome, but also a huge marketplace. For the reason I put the one API to rule them all. Because for developers, it's amazing. Because it works. I started with a station, I developed only Firefox, but it works like a charm at some Chrome. So this is pretty cool. This, this out of the box, you can have all these kind of things. You can also try a Chrome extension. And probably, because this, the party is not complete actually, it works as on Firefox. So, what is the actual status of the parity? I don't want to talk about any VI because I have no time. I'm Italian, but I can talk so much, but for you it's not good. But, the, okay, there are many APIs. An example, I love the first point. I am like, I am a developer. I am like a kid at the Christmas waiting for Santa Claus looking at the door when he's coming because I'm waiting for the DevTools API because I want to do developer tools too. And it's working. They are working on it. But there are these, all, these API that are working out, some, some of them are already completed. There is native messaging, it's very amazing. They're already available. But this on the website, you can find the status of every single API with the ticket on Bugzilla. So you can track everything, ask questions, because the other teams uh, are nice people. They are also behind these, guy, these people. They can help with all the problems. So let's talk about the station. It's like with Chrome. We have these kind of things. And uh, you can say, well, it's not so much different from another web project. We have files, a little bit of files. But let's look on these kind of things. For a web developer, remember like a package manager, unfortunately, we lose so many times with package manager. We have to work in many languages. But the important part of this, and I want to talk of the rest, is the content script. Usually, the mainly, the mainly extension only change a behavior in a page, on a website. This is the manly of our extension. And actually, it's very simple. This monkey became famous for these kind of things. Now we can do it and explain the URL and the file to load it. It's automatic. We don't need to code. Where is the blah, 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 blah. No, it's already there. Let's also try an example to move a this monkey script as a web extension. And only to write this file. So you can find, it's very simple to create a station, but there are many other things. Because content script is a script that run in a web page. There is also background scripts, a script that run inside the browser because they want to, communi to communicate to different pages and I frame in another page. What can I do? I can use a script that run inside the browser, specified with the manifest, auto-loaded from Firefox itself, that do stuff. So there is also these kind of things. As I said, there is also content scripts, very simple. You, I can, I, I see you can write an extension in an hour now because I can test in the developer tools of Firefox with the scratch part, then next I can create the rest, the manifest, and plot it on M, etc. And this is one of the problems. As I said, Firefox is the most customizable browser. But in Chrome, the only thing that you can add is that button. And sometimes Chrome added automatically, also you cannot specify in the manifest, it's automatic added. But in Firefox, this doesn't happen. Actually, in the interface, you can add a button that open a pop-up menu that is an A-frame, as, as an A-frame, so you can do a menu like as a web developer usually. And this is one of the things that you, now, this is already available because 
ah, I was forgetting these kind of things. Because uh, we love privacy. In Mozilla, we love privacy. And uh, you can specify what files my extension can access. So I have to specify the resources of the JavaScript file or CSS can reference. I specify the manifest itself. So I cannot access to strange files on the computer. Security. So I want to add this part because uh, we are developers. We want to plot some web extension. Uh, we need uh, someone that look at extension. In my this uh, starts from the Hemo team itself. As we can say, there is a better view because when you use Chrome, the Chrome store is very ugly. You have to buy for the account, blah, 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 blah. The, the extension is released automatically in an hour. So it's, uh, you can say, ah, oh, pretty cool. Not so much because you can release a bug and no one uh, not, uh, notices so much. On Hemo, you have volunteers that review your code, they can leave you an email with the suggestion or to improve your code, what is the best thing to do. And I can say my experience is very important because I improve myself as a developer, but that's the code. And we need the reviewers, so you cannot apply for these kind of roles. And this is a stats. And the review, usually in one day, depends from the time, the queue, etc. you cannot have your extension approved. With an email, you can say, thank you for your contribution. Chrome, you don't, you don't, get, me, you don't get anything. So, we love contributor. And the roadmap, it was also animated, is available from Firefox 42. So, you can actually already develop and publish on Emo. You have the SDK for a web session embedding. I say, like, a hybrid way to move an old extension in the new way, because it's more simple. We have the roadmap that is planning to. Uh, uh, to activate only a web extension when we release it Firefox 53 on Emo. And they're planning for the end of, of the year to stop to release on Emo uh, extension but with the old way, only web extension. There is actually an API because they say Firefox is most customizable. I want to do many other things. So we want file system API, they're planning, they're studying, etc. There is also the sidebar, uh, new teams done as a web extension. They are working on it. And there is also a project to experiment creating new API outside Firefox. So you really want a new API can experiment without changing Firefox itself. And you can do it. It's a project already available. And for people that love code, you can find a GitHub label with example of data often. And when there is a new API, there is a new example. After there are 30 examples available on GitHub, so you can open Firefox and try it. And then work. You can find all the files, etc., for many of the API available. But there is also some, some of them are also documented as tutorial on MGN. So I want to know I can find everything on MGN. And why I, uh, I can try the extension? That is Firefox. Also, the stable because it was available from the 45. You have to only to open about uh, double dot debugging page and use another program. That way, we have a watcher of the file. So, when I change the JavaScript file CSS, blah, 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 they are already loaded. Without do anything, we can also have the reload button to force a reload. Maybe sometimes there is JSON, it's not uploaded uh, correctly. And we can also have the bug to open to the bugging user for the background skips because they are a little bit advanced. So, but we are developers, so developers love the command line. So there are lots of tools for us. The first one is the most famous from the demo team itself, is a command line to, to do everything without to use the interface, but also do many other things, for example, testing, uh, packaging, validation, many other things. It is very well documented on GitHub, so you can download with your problems, etc. This is my little script because I started to develop when there was change, etc. It's a little bit, a little a script that package an extension and check for Chrome, etc. But now it's not so much required. And this is one I've done because I'm a developer. I want to see statistics of my users. How many people use my extension? I have to open Chrome Web Store. This is ugly again. Emo is fantastic. The data REST API. Chrome don't have REST API to access information of my extension. I have to scrap HTML. In Python, it's very good to scratch, to scrape uh, HTML. So I've done a little script that scratch this data and create graph, uh, graphs of the marketplace. So I run with the Chrome every day. I can see the status between all the uh, both of the marketplace. And 
And one of the last news is this. There is the new developer hub on Emo. You can have the same approach, a common extension, many other things. Already on Emo, there is a bronze that Mozilla will talk for the people that uh, get it. But in closing, because it was, I think it was very fast, because uh, I will probably have time to show a demo. There is also the standard in progress from WTC. I don't know actually the status, but for us would be finally I can have a, a, a standard to develop an extension that already run probably in the future in many boards but we are standard. But uh, I want also to leave resources because we are developer, we want to read the documentation. Don't provide it, but read the yes. And there is a, a little bit of links. As an example, there is an extension to download the extension from Google Chrome in Firefox. There is a, this is one, is the, one of the last news. As an example, we said in Firefox, there is a problem of antivirus that create problems. In the next version, we even have extension that can uh, that load library in the system because the new feature, the new API is native messaging, so on in a different way. But well, there are many documentation. There is also the roadmap available at Trello. You can see the water release in the new version of Firefox. You can see many other things. There is also the mailing list. So you, for people that love mailing list, there is a mailing list. There is also a section on this course. I forgot to add the link. You can find a discourse that was here talk is developer tools and add-ons. Uh, section, so you can ask here your problem, asking developer question, etc. It is a forum, so for people that don't like mailing list, you can also have a forum. So this was my slide that will try to run an extension now from the uh, Firefox itself, because oh, that was very fast. We are developer, we want to get boring about tech stuff. <laughs> ask it, ask. So this is a page. We can see also a few system advanced and example that are already in the system. Uh, but now we can see this car, this cool things. Uh, I remember the part where is the examples is uh, uh, I put in a wrong no is the wrong path. Uh, when you contribute in different projects, you don't remember where they are. <laughs> uh, okay, this is the folder available MGN with examples. You can see there are many of them. There are Moshe client tests, there is native messaging. Native messaging is pretty cool, enable to access uh, an uh, a program itself in your computer and communicate with Firefox. But it's not injected in, inside Firefox. It's another process because it's another executable. So you can communicate the different uh, application in the system. Uh, what we can try because they're not connected to the computer. Um, okay, this is the most simple one. The, I can say the, the most funny. Uh, it had uh, a button. There was not this button. We have this button because it's actually bestify. We have a simple page that is HTML5 that I have to run in a in a web page because it's not working. Oh, okay. It's very simple, but the code is very, very much simple because they only change the uh, document write and attach the image. It's a code script. There is also another one that change only the, uh, the borderline, but these are extension. And as you can see, you can get fun. I started in that way, I can want to say my experience. I taken the uh, Borderify and written the station, and now I use it from the WordPress Polyglot community that supports uh, 14 different languages that help all the community of WordPress to translate extension. They add a glossary, and there's a valid button Chrome and Firefox. So, uh, I have finished the time, uh, so I guess the, there are questions I am here. Yes, yeah, so just a reminder, speak very loud when you uh, ask your question, and Daniela, please repeat the question. Thank you. Okay. So there are a lot of Chrome-only extensions, but they actually work in Firefox. So you can run it, you can convert them in like one minute. Right? But is there like 
And so obviously the problem is that uh, Chrome extension developers don't know that they can run the new part. Uh, is Mozilla trying to engage with Chrome extension developers yeah. to tell them that they're yeah, as you see in the developers hub, there was a page, there was a section, there is also documentation on MDM, but the developer hub have two weeks of life, so we start to do promotion about it. I follow up already, I see people that suggest to move also to try on Firefox, I see also on GitHub people that open ticket, create a, improve your code and work also on Firefox. So I think that in, in the next month we will see many other new extensions from Chrome on Emu. Yes? Uh, do you know what the timeline for the W3C standardization is going to be? I don't remember the question, the question is, okay. do, do we know the timeline for the W3C standardization? I don't remember that. I remember they opened a, a group of study, but I don't remember the status. Sorry. <laughs> More questions? One at the back okay. there? Yeah. Shh, shh, I I was sure I had this very okay. You have a microphone at the line. Can you please leave me because we cannot hear the whole. And yet I have a strong voice. Yes, sorry. So I was saying uh, I think it's really interesting uh, direction, but I was thinking it was a bit illogical in the uh, presentation because you said that ext uh, extension are part of Firefox. Everybody, uh, it was made what made Firefox for me at least it is. But by the end of the year, two thirds of the important add-on I use that I use every day will stop working. <laughs> I understand again very well, but uh, I will try to reply. Well, the reason the problem of the change of API of term is this true. But the new web extension is the future because uh, I showed now the web extension is like a wrapper to the is all the SDK. So for us, uh, when there will be uh, changes inside Firefox, uh, for us will be not a problem like before with the old SDK that when the a new Firefox the extension was broken. With the extension, this problem don't happen because there is a like a wrapper to the inside uh, Firefox mechanics, so it's working without problem. So I do not follow everything. I'm <laughs> So uh, I can answer that one a little bit better. Um, the question was, a lot of extensions will just break and won't work with the new web extensions model. That's, that's basically your question. You lose a lot of your extensions, right? Um, I'm not on the add-ons team, but I will give what I think uh, my answer is, is that um, we're changing the add-on system to make Firefox safer for users, uh, and to make things better for developers and to standardize. And unfortunately, uh, during that transition, yes, we will uh, lose some add-ons, but we are working very, very closely with as many add-ons as, as possible to port our add-ons and to bring APIs uh, into the new web extensions that will accommodate what they're trying to do. So, you know, we're really trying our best here, uh, but we think this is the future. We think this is the way forward. It's more secure. It's better for users. It's better for developers um, uh, all around. Um, you know, Firefox will be more secure. It will be faster, etc. So, you know, we're, we're doing our best uh, as we as we make the transition. Yeah. 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 Uh, you can try there is a little bit yeah, of the is very important. Important. So much it just, uh, <laughs> well, why do we not consider a more uh, long yeah, uh, period of overlap? Because for extension, because I don't believe when you release at the end of the year, you will only release with the scope which is equivalent to Chrome, I believe. It's the current plan. And then it means that specific uh, extension, I'm speaking, which uh, specific uh, API which, need, which are needed for specific extension won't be ready at the time. So when you will do the transition, yeah, lots of extension <laughs> will uh, stop. Uh, will, will stop. Why do you not consider to have more uh, long time of overlay to allow people to work on those uh, API which are necessary and then do the transition with less impact for the user? Yeah. Um, yeah. I, unfortunately, I can't. I can't answer that question. I'm not on, on the audience team or the platform team. Um, uh, I'll just give my opinion that we, we put a lot of a lot of thought into it, into the length of the transition time, the work we're doing with developers, the work we're doing. Um, 
uh, at APIs and so on. So um, the add-ons team are actually in the room here. Could some add-ons team people put their hands up? Maybe you can talk to them afterwards and get their thoughts on this. Ask them questions. Okay. Okay. So um, we have time for one more question.